Alright. Hey everyone! Welcome back to Movie vs. Movie. We're do we're still we're doing another one. That's about normal for our podcast to at least get two episodes before we leave and stop doing them. Oh. Uh, I, I hope we go further with this. So yeah, this need is to... a versatile concept. I would like there's a lot of movies I want to compare to each other. Yeah. It's just, you know, a matter of like uh whether or not we're currently interested in doing it and then maybe we'll do it. But I think yeah. Right. But today we were talking about something that uh, I do two movies that I am interested in talking about today. All right. Yeah, we got the Simpsons movie and the South Park movie. South Park: Bigger, Longer, and Uncut. The proper title. <laughs> I love the title. Yes, <laughs> yes it's, it's, it's innuendo. They snuck past the set, like they just pitched it. The people that were like approving of it, they didn't understand the joke. And, like a while later, like, hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute, you can't have that. It's like, oh, it's too late. You already said yes. That's the title of the movie. So there we go. Uh, That's a behind-the-scenes trivia. I watched... I Because I didn't just watch the movie last night in preparation for this. I also watched the commentary, like, huh. afterwards. That, uh, there you uh, go. That Stone Trey Parker made. Did you watch Did not the watch Simpsons? the commentary for the Simpsons movie. Oh. I don't know if it does have a commentary. It might. It probably does. It was released on DVD. It was still in the same era where DVDs were going around. Yeah, yeah. I just I don't have that on DVD. I've I've got South Park. Yeah. So what is the comparison point here? It's pretty much just like the long running like adult animated shows. Pretty much. Yeah. Besides uh, Family. They got Guy. their movies. We should. Yeah. But if we wanted to make this right, we should have also been covering the the Family Guy, uh, Stewie, <laughs> Stewie's Untold Story movie, which is just three episodes stitched together. Yeah. And it's As like, there's just this one through line, this one plot of Stewie. It literally the is. It was not released in theaters, uh, and it it literally is just three episodes stitched together, as opposed I, to I the I think Simpsons they're funny movie. episodes. They're yeah, they're funny fine. episodes of classic Family Guy, but it's not, it's not really a movie. Yeah. As, we as also could have covered the Beavis and Butthead, uh, Do America. Oh, yeah. That would have uh, been more applicable, but we just, it's more simple to just do Simpsons and South Park. Yeah, for now, since we're only, like, two episodes in, we're just going to do t- one versus one. Yeah. Maybe whoever wins here today can face Beavis and Butthead Do America in the future. <laughs> oh, my tournament arc. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, it'll be a tournament arc. And we'll wait, we'll wait for the live-action Family Guy movie so we can uh, bring that into the fray. Oh, my God. Are they, they going to make it live-action? I, I probably not, but it would be great if, it, if they did. It would be funny. I mean, like, <laughs> I'm not sure. Like, all would they keep all the voice actors, or would they have like just yeah, the, like... the voice actors dub over, and uh, instead of getting an actual baby to play Stewie, they get an animatronic to keep the football head. Animatronic, oh my! <laughs> and they, they just okay. We're getting off track with Family yeah, we're Guy. We're way is... off track. We're talking about fucking fucking Family Guy. <laughs> Yeah, it seems today that all you see is we should well, all we should be seeing is the Simpsons movie and the South Park movie. Now, do we want to go over our relationship to these franchises first, or talk about the general summaries of these movies? I, I think well, it's listed first the general summaries. So, uh, do you want to read them, or do I want to read them? You I, you read the Simpsons. I'll read South Park. All right, the Simpsons movie has the late get shit in too much. It's Homer's <laughs> fault after they try to clean it up. So the Environmental Protection Agency puts a dome over Springfield, which causes the Simpsons family to get chased out of Springfield and go on a wacky adventure. The Simpsons family, like, breaks up, but then they get back together, and eventually Springfield is saved. Wowee. This, uh, like I I was going to almost say earlier... The, the Family Guy ep- movie is literally just three episodes stitched together, but this... Despite not being that, it just feels like a regular episode of Later Simpsons stretched to about I, an hour and a half. But I'll get stakes, later to it. The stakes of the Simpsons movie are appropriate for a movie. They have yeah, good stakes. Fair. Okay. Uh, but, I, but South I, I Park. Get to it. The South Park movie is uh, basically about South Park itself. With you know, they have the Terrence and Phillip movie coming out, and that's supposed to be a stand-in for actually South Park. And like, it's got the. Um, Parents are like, complaining about it being like crass and like not good for kids. And it's just like a yeah. whole. It's, there's a whole comparison there. And it, basically, the South Park parents are trying to uh, not just ban uh, Terrence and Philip, but eventually try to kill them. And it starts a war with Canada. And it's a whole fucking situation. 
Uh, <laughs> and they got like fucking Satan's involved. It's a pretty wild movie. Oh, yeah. And uh, this was like this is like early South Park. This is like oh, yeah. while they're making season three, they were making this. So there's Butters is not even fucking in this, which is he's weird because like, he's like such a major character when I think of South Park. He's somewhere in like the background. He's like a, a kid back there, but just I don't think he's got any speaking lines. Yeah, I don't recall anything. So yeah, those those are the, in the movie. Those are the movies that we're talking about. You should probably already know about these movies if you're watching this. But uh, yeah. let's talk about our relationship to the greater franchises of The Simpsons and South Park, starting with you. All right. So The Simpsons, I really liked liked it since I was a kid. I I watched a lot of the episodes. I collected a bunch of DVDs. I, I even read a bunch of the simpsons comics and i have like simpsons toys around like i have all those like halloween burger king toys they did and i also uh have a bart simpson around here but the thing is like that also like mania for the simpsons or i, I get well there was bart mania and like there but you well for me like personally like my enjoyment like of the simpsons regularly like the seasons themselves stops around like 2000 2001 like most like a lot of people i don't know most people cuz enough people watch it for so it to still it be like, on was it like principal and the popper was the one that everyone hated and that was the end of simpsons that was the one that people like first were taking a big issue with but there were like a few good episodes after that but uh, besides that like it it did like kind of just fall into like just they like, kind of routine it's there because like the simpsons it's the simpsons like we we don't want to get rid of the simpsons because it's the simpsons i liked yeah. uh behind the laughter that's probably where they should have ended it but it didn't end and there's a it lot of simpsons episodes going. yeah uh, <laughs> i i actually don't have as much history of the simpsons because uh when i was growing up uh my my dad he he liked watching South Park and Family Guy, and so that is what I ended yeah. up growing up watching. Even though I was a kid, I should probably not have been watching that. But uh, I was watching a, a lot of that theme. shit. Gotten great, but I still I watched some Simpsons. Like I was definitely I was definitely exposed to the Simpsons movie. Like this is a nostalgic movie to me. I remember a lot of shit while you watching it. But uh, yeah. I did eventually. I was like, okay, this is like one of the greatest like adult cartoons. I should give it a shot. I need to watch it. So I started watching it like from the beginning, and I actually really like it. It's a yeah. big surprise. The Simpsons is good, at least at the start. And I actually do. Uh, people people say that like the early seasons, like season one, two, three, are like awkward or something. But I actually I, I really liked it. I like the, yeah. the the older seasons. Weird animation, but uh, the stories are kind of deeper. They're like it's very emotional. Homer tries to kill himself yeah. in one of them. Oh my! Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty fucked up. I like it. Um, I did. I did. A, I've seen a couple of the modern stuff, like that stupid Disney Plus like thing, where they go to the uh, bar and all the Disney characters are there. I don't I've even seen a lot of with those. I've seen a lot of clips of just like modern Simpsons, and I it, it's so cringy. It's so what terrible. Is, what is it like Lisa saying? Like you get trolled, memed, pwned, or whatever. <laughs> Dare I say pwned? Uh, and Marge sounds like unfortunate. Marge, she sounds tired I they need right to give now. her a break. They need to the end the show. She sounds like her yeah. voice is like dying. Uh, to give them a rest, I guess. Uh, See. but yeah, uh, I I keep hearing though that Simpsons is starting to come back, but I hear that about like a lot of shows, and that they don't actually come back. Mm. It's just still sucking. But there's apparently some decent Simpsons stuff coming out recently. Uh, but, but okay, let's talk about South Park. What, you, what, what are your, what's your, what's your history of South Park? I remember when South Park was just like brand new. Actually, <laughs> I'm an old You're person. Fucking old. Yeah, it was like 1998 or so, and I was, it was like, I, I was like scared of it because the, cause the, I was like, oh, the kid keeps dying, huh? <laughs> oh yeah. And that, but I eventually started watching it again when I got a little bit older, and I, I liked it. I liked the general like mix of like absurdity and crudeness, and like some social commentary. I think some episodes have like aged like, poorly. Aged, yeah. Like, and they've even like gone back on I think a few uh, episodes 
Uh, yeah, yeah, they they went back on their whole global warming thing because uh, yeah. they were mocking it. They didn't think it was real, but then it turned out to be very real. And so they apologized yeah. to Al Gore, the character, in the Although episode. <laughs> That's do, a pretty great episode. Yeah, they do still portray him as very like <laughs> a smug person, which is at all. fair enough, I suppose. But what am I? I just saw like South Park. Overall, I guess I would say South Park is a good show. Yeah. I I would say it like has stayed consistent longer than The Simpsons. That, that's what I really like about South Park is that it was good for so long. Like I think yeah. season 4 is when it starts to get really good and it maintained that so like season like 17 or like 18. I hear some differences there. But that's a long time to be a good show. That's longer than I think Simpsons or Family Guy stayed good. Yeah. And, like, even, like, currently, like, kind of bad South Park, it's not that bad. It's just, like, that humor is not that great no more. It's not that... I haven't been laughing that much. Although I did like the uh, that special where there are adults. Did you ever see that? Yeah, I did see that. That was I, fun. I that that, that was really out. fun. Well, that turned out pretty well. I would say... Uh, I I'm I'm very loyal with South Park. I grew up with it. I think oh, it is my yeah. favorite adult animated cartoon, like just in general, because because mostly, uh, well, for one thing, it is it was like good for the longest amount of time. But I just I I, I really like that that the fucking crude humor they got going on, like the uh, the lengths they'll go to tell their jokes. There's a lot of good yeah. shit. I think Cartman is like. Is my, probably my favorite character. I think Kurt, uh, he's like he's like he's the most deplorable and like horrible person, and I do hate yeah. him. But also, he's the funniest guy, and I think that's what makes him uh, what makes yeah, him my that favorite. Is, that is but, about right. I think with Kurtman. What are you about to like, say? I grew up like with like I said, South Park and Family Guy, and I do have a soft spot for like early early stuff Family Guy. But then it did go into just genuine shit. In South Park, I don't oh, think ever yeah. got that bad. It it can be bad. It can be outdated, but I just I think it's really great show. It's like some really good yeah. shit, and even the early stuff, which is like still not as good as how it got later. There's still there's some good good stuff in the old South Park, and this I movie think... is technically kind of old South Park, and it's still great. Yeah, this is like the first like big like. I guess, like, knowing... I guess it marks a transitionary period where South Park became a bit more known for, like, social commentary in a way. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess this is where where, where it started. I don't remember there being a ton of social commentary in the earlier seasons. Yeah, I do... In a weird way, I do like some of the vibes of early South Park, though. I guess partially... Partially because, like, I was... I was around. I'm an old person. (laughs) I mean, yeah, it's like it's like the vibes are still fun. It's yeah. I, there, there's some good episodes in the early. Season. I shouldn't have posed it as like the early scenes are bad. They're 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 pretty they're pretty good. I season think... two is the one I hear just straight up sucks. Oh, uh, but like season I one think... and three have some good stuff. I think both early Simpsons and early very early Simpsons and very early South Park have a interesting vibe to them in that like. Yeah. They they aren't they aren't fully formed yet, but like they still still interesting that. in a way to see. What is your like since I, since I brought up South Park as my favorite adult animated cartoon? What's your favorite overall? Would you say Simpsons? Um, like the Simpsons in the the Golden Years is just like just a base almost a perfectly done show. I think, but I also like. I could name a few. I'm I'm notorious though for right. Like, naming yeah, I, off I'm too asking. Many. I basically you're gonna do a whole list. I choose one, Ducko. You gotta choose one. Okay. Uh, no, I was I was about to say a shitty one as a joke, no. but no. Of Futurama. See, that's I was, a valid answer. I don't. Futurama is a good show. Yeah. You I have like Matt fun. Running. Yeah, I have fun. Yeah, memories Futurama with it. had movies too, didn't it? Yeah, but like. Should we count? The thing is, like, those are like the Family Guy movies, and that like, they later, well, it seems like they did it in reverse. They had the well, did the Family Guy movie come out first on like DVD, and then they split it into three episodes? Because that's what they did with Futurama. Uh, the Family Guy movie 
was very much three episodes stitched together. Yeah. Because they had three different... They've got, like, a, and each, each episode is a different subplot for Peter. Yeah, there we are. Okay. Well, yeah. So let's actually talk about the movies. Uh, it seems, even though South Park came first, we've decided to start with the Simpsons movie. And I have a history amongst my friend group. Uh, I was pretty notorious for straight up hating this movie for a while. Oh, yeah. Like, I... <laughs> I just remembered, like, not liking it. I just remembered, oh, there's that part where uh, Bart is skating around naked because Homer wanted to see his penis. There's Spider Pig. I, uh, I don't think Homer wanted to see well, why did, penis. Well, why did Homer want it so bad? Why did Homer want him so badly to do it? It is, it's a dare, I get. Well, it still, it's, dare. Fu- it's bad. You fucked up, Homer. Do it. <laughs> also, <laughs> get I remember... your dick out. <laughs> <laughs> I remember oh, hating Millhouse too. Like in that movie specifically, oh. he's a piece of shit. He is not redeemable in this movie. Uh, but that's he, all I remembered. He, oh yeah. Yeah, he, he, he. This is goes later into the movie. But he pretends like that boy that Lisa like. Yeah, he pretends he's dead. dead. Uh, oh yeah. yeah, he's not. He's pretty pretty shitty in this. But then I was like, okay, I should probably like watch this movie with a clear head before we do this podcast. I don't want to just shit on it based on my vague memories of the Simpsons movie. Because I, oh. I know that I hated those moments, and with a burning hatred, I hated the spider pig shit. That was fucking everywhere. Oh. But and watching it this time around, I'm more neutral towards it. The parts that annoy me still annoy me, but there are actually some really good jokes in here. I think. Yeah, there are some decent ones in there. I, my over, I didn't write down a full notes thing and. But, like, my overall thoughts, I I think I said before, it feels, it's not bad at all. I don't think it, well, there are well, the bad spider parts. spider pig and the penis part. The spider pig is whatever, but the, I, I don't understand why it's such a big thing. I, I guess other than they can get away with it in a movie. They, <laughs> just, they, they showed it uncensored. Why? They, they do the whole Austin Powers thing first of, like, like oh it's covered up we'll cover it. but then like you see for a moment there's Bart's there's Bart's wiener out I don't but I don't understand like why is that a thing they're so excited to do in the movie <laughs> I just Homer wanted it that badly I, did Homer I guess like it's like a kind of like a oh it's a Ooh, dare you don't thing do it, you're a chicken Bart you're a chicken like you like going out and doing something naked is like something that is risky to do but like at the same time they didn't have to actually show his penis <laughs> they didn't have to actually uh, do it well you know they did those are getting their shock humor in there i, I you know there's uh they want to be more adult this is an adult cartoon you gotta you gotta Oh. oh my god! Penis, or else the entire joke falls flat. No, you gotta actually I'm, show it. I'm going all over the place now. I'm remembering there's an episode of The Simpsons where Homer is like dressed like a pa- they they have a bad track record with pranks in later Simpsons. Okay, oh, no. they wait, wait, Mr. What did Homer do? Mr. Burns keeps making Homer like do things in this one episode and then like he makes him go dressed as a panda at the zoo and like oh another right panda comes along and fucks homer he fucking rapes homer yeah Ho- why is that in homer there? gets raped i don't yeah, know yeah see so, so simpsons can get edgy this is uh, they're not getting edgy in the right way i guess in this, <laughs> in this not case. doing it so well uh well dear. okay but like i said there are some funny jokes in this movie but yeah. anyway, when you're going over your full summary, you weren't just going over that. What's do you got more to say, like as a general summary, before we just go into like specific details? I, I think overall, I well, I watched it. It, it feels enough like a movie, but it, for some reason, for me, it doesn't feel as much like a movie. But yeah, as you mentioned like the movie. the plot. Like you think that would be a normal Simpsons episode now? Maybe I don't know. It, it would it. 
I guess I'm also used to like the watching the Treehouse of Horrors and like they right. they go all weird and all over the place. And, like, That's what I would expect a whole dome situation to happen. This Treehouse of Horror. Yeah, like it. This could be. You could take like one of the Treehouse of Horrors and like turn it movie length, or you could, and you could okay. take this plot and turn it into a Treehouse of Horror, maybe. But like, I guess for what it is, it's. It's fine enough, like, I'm not, like, offended by its existence, it's just, like, you know, like, the my, my season biggest problem. 1 through, like, 10 is the, the better Simpsons, just about. Yeah. My biggest problem with this movie, Homer is a douchebag throughout most of it. Oh, uh, yeah. I do not like how much of a dick Homer, isn't he, I remember him being nicer, like, in Golden Age, he was, like, he was dumb, but, like, he's. He had. He was well meaning. He wasn't this much of a yeah. dick. But like he's, it's it's like the point. I guess that like they know that he's he's a dick. He's mean spirited, and so they they kind of they kind of put him through a lot of slapstick in this movie to make up for it. But I re- I still don't like following him. I like, doesn't make it and when he tells a joke. I don't. It's like usually just not, not that funny. It's just kind of lame. They don't give Homer a lot of good jokes, so he can't be saved. Yeah. Like, jerk characters, if he, was, if he was a dick, but he was funny, then sure, I guess that's fun. Cartman's a dick and he's funny. But Homer was not that funny, so he's just a dick. He does, yeah, like, eventually... It... He, like, eventually learns his lesson, though, but, like, it's, it's too late into the movie. Like, he's already a dick throughout most of it, and I don't even... That was, like, that was the... He learned his lesson for, like, this whole... What was, what was it again? What did he do? He, like, goes on, like, a, a spiritual quest or something and right. gets guided by the booby lady. Oh, right, the, and... the booby lady. Great joke. Yeah, and the, uh, there you go. And then he goes back to his family and he's has his realization. And he does, like, selfless, a selfless thing for... he. I think he, like, goes on the motorcycle to win... Or, or is that earlier? He, he, I'm, goes, I... he goes on the motorcycle to, like, get... Uh... He co grabs Bart and then he goes around the dome to throw the bomb. Well, that's like a callback thing to earlier when he goes in like the the county fair and he gets the yeah, motorcycle earlier. and he goes around. So that's how that he was, learned how to I don't do think it. That was selfless because he was saving himself too. Well, yeah, but he he he, he kind of has to learn to like work for others, basically. Yeah. Like he realizes that uh, without without everybody else, he's nobody. Yeah, pretty much. So I, like, I kind of like. I did kind of like that stuff when Homer's like, "Oh, I've been a dick. I'm yeah. so sorry." But just, just there's too much of the movie where he's a dick. When I don't think that was really, that wasn't really a part of like the, the golden age Homer. He was he was kind of grumpy. Like he was a he was a, gr- a grumpy guy, um, but like yeah. he, he was ultimately a good like nice. Like he was trying to be nice. Yeah, it, uh, it's a thing that apparently developed later into Simpsons. Yeah, people call Burgess. it like jerk ass Homer. Like yeah, the whole thing. Homer becomes more and more of an asshole. Yeah, it's like he he can be a dick in some of the uh, Golden Age Simpsons, but like it's not 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 to this degree where it's like he's so just mean spirited the entire time. Yeah, but I guess they sort of learn. I don't know why. Uh, I don't. I don't really know why lisa has a subplot in this when it's just nothing i got that boyfriend yeah. character just comes out of nowhere colin just comes out of nowhere i just fucking i hate it i don't think he's in like other episodes as yeah, no. really. it doesn't mean anything you're you're right i mean it, it's like, if, if you were to? if you are watching this and like this was your introduction to Simpsons. First of all, you'd be like, "Why? Why do people like this Homer guy so much?" And then second of all, you'd be like, "Oh wow, I bet Colin is like a major character <laughs> like, into the show." No, no, he isn't. <laughs> there, there, there are a lot of things actually we can go into, pick apart about this movie. Unfortunately, there are good bits. Uh, we keep saying that, but. You know what? We, we should, keep... should we get into the good bits, or or while we're at it, just keep digging into the bad stuff and then get into the good stuff? Are right, there's a few more things you're saying here you don't like? Yes, uh, I think it's really odd that the entire town of Springfield is willing to kill uh, the baby Maggie. That's pretty fucked oh, up. Yeah. That's, I, don't, 
They like get a noose. They get a little noose with a binky. Oh my! I mean, it's a good, I... it's a good bit, but also very makes the town very unlikable. But I guess they've done that before when they tried to have the town kill Bart. The town has been unlikable oh, yeah. like this before. It's uh, unfortunate. For yeah, I mean, it's like the, the, there's the, there are some bad jokes in this movie, but there are also some good shit. But I I remember. Okay, the the joke that made me cringe really hard rewatching it, because I was rewatching it, I was like, okay, I'll give it a shot. And the thing that immediately made me not want to give this movie a shot was the part where Homer's in the theater, you're like, everyone watching this is a huge sucker, especially you. And he points to the Aww. fucking audience. It's just, I hate that joke. Aw, poor. He's a well, fuck. see, you get it. It's actually so clever, yeah. doesn't he? Well. Then they also made that. This is this was pointed out in like a Pan Pizza Rebel Taxi video, I think. Like they made that joke earlier on the show, but it was about like them going to see like a parody of the Wild Thornberries movie called like the Wild Dingleberries. Oh, <laughs> the Wild Dingleberry. Well, I guess they can't just. Well, sometimes they just call the thing what it is, but other times they call it a goofy name. I hate the way Homer points the fucking camera. The face he makes, I hate him. I wanna, I wanted to oh. punch him right there. But I actually, punch the, him. The, the part before that, the whole itchy and scratchy starting it, I like that. I did like yep. that being the start of the movie. That's good. What are, what are your thoughts on some of the jokes that didn't land for you? Uh, what a, what didn't really land for me? Uh, well, like there's the. Ralph Wiggum thing you mentioned that we talked we talked at length, <laughs> a, a, perhaps too long about the Bart with his dick out, but yeah. like like the scene itself that that also went on for too long. Well, that about the most of it, can happen. <laughs> oh boy, uh. You, the, you, know, you mentioned Ralph, yeah, Ralph Wiggum at the beginning of the movie singing the 20th Century Fox. Oh, right. Yeah, and I was like, okay, this is going to be a, it's going to be a ride. But maybe yeah, it's just but... like, maybe it's just those jokes. Those, maybe I was like not in the mood at the time. Because like, okay, it's going to be a Simpsons movie. But I eventually just have to warm up and like some of the jokes start to actually hit. So maybe I just had to let my guard down. Because there, yeah. I, I, there's this joke of like uh, the dome's coming over. Like, there's the people in the bar and there's people in the church, and they immediately run oh, yeah. to the opposite location, and I thought that was funny. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one. Uh, this there's some well-written one, jokes. Yeah, this is one that isn't, like, necessarily the best or the worst. It's just, like, ironic now, of course. It, the other people have mentioned this. Like, like Bart comes down with a bra on his head, and he says, like, I'm the man. <clears throat> I can't do the squeaky voice right now. I'm the kind of a corporate. Evil Corporation. Yeah, yeah. And now they're owned by now they're Disney. owned by them. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Uh, I I like the villain in this movie. Is it? Yeah. The, the guy who voices him, he does, he does Hank Scorpio, right? I think so. Yeah. And the people are, are like, oh, they should have actually just made Hank Scorpio the villain in this movie, which I do not think would have worked at all. I, oh, I wow. remember the whole thing in that episode. Wasn't it that... Even though he was, like, a horrible villain, he was weirdly just nice to Homer, like a decent boss otherwise. Oh, uh, yeah. Is that how that episode went? I haven't seen it in a, I in think a while. think so. If that's how it went, I don't think he would have worked as the villain. Because he, he would have just been... That, that would have just made him, oh, now he's just a super villain. There's not really a, a joke beyond that. So I think having his own, his own character in it is fine. He's a funny character. Good villain. Uh, he, he was pretty good. There we are. What else? What else you got about the Simpsons movie, Ducko? What else do I gotta say? Uh, we mentioned here. You, you said you like it visually, and I generally agree. It looks yeah, looks oh good yeah, enough. I do like the visuals in this movie. Like some of the backgrounds look really nice, and like the animation, pretty good. I I, I like how it looks. There's like, yeah. I. What do you think? Uh, what do you think of the ending? It's like the. Uh, People say it's a really heartwarming moment for him and of Marge there. Yeah, it's nice. It's a and like they have the song that's like the 
why do why do birds suddenly appear? Right. That actually they, they is a call earlier. back to the an episode of the show. That is like their oh. song that they like together. Oh, okay, that's cool. It did, see, I would have asked. I probably would have liked this. Just straight up liked it if Homer wasn't such a piece of shit throughout the entire thing. Yeah, have, this plot could have worked if Homer was just genuinely making dumb mistakes and like. Uh, he he can still be grumpy, but like just not to this degree. Like he still could have made the same mistakes and driven his family away without just being horrible the entire way through. And then we would have like yeah. then like the emotional stuff probably would have worked better, I think. Because I was like, oh, I feel bad for Homer, but now I'm just like, no, he deserves everything that just happened to him. That's uh, I don't know why I'm rooting for him. Yeah. So is that, is that basically what we have to say about the Simpsons movie? You got anything else th- to say? I think that's about it for this. Well, for the Simpsons until we compare both of them. Yeah, I, we can get overall into... decent enough movie. It's not. Yeah, we can. And it's not on par with the Golden Age of Simpsons. People, people have told me before that it's the last breath of of the greatness from the show. I do not think it really reaches those peaks. It's not. It's got good jokes, but like fucking Simpsons can't have good jokes even in the even in the shitty era. There can be good jokes even then, but this still just has jerk ass Homer, which I do not like. Yeah. Oh yeah, I wonder what's gonna win this episode. Let's go over uh, to South Park. Oh yeah. We have not said anything. I think we were even saying bad things about the Simpsons movie before we really got <laughs> into it. So South Park. I I wonder if if it'll. If it's better than the Simpsons movie, <laughs> bigger, longer, and uncut. Let's yeah, let you start. You you'll start about South Park because I've been I start I sort of I sort of went on a lot about Simpsons. I I ne- despite it like me being around when the Sims when South Park was new, I didn't get to see this in theaters. But I I did I did oh, see, see like a movie? trailer for it in theaters. I think it was like it was like an implication at first. It was be gonna be about like Walt Disney and Mickey Mouse, but then like Cartman came along and said like, "Stinky bitches, I got stinky bitches," <laughs> or something like that. Stinky or, bitches. I, yeah. Or did did he? Did am I confusing it with the one where they were like uh, using the most high end animated technology and they're like going around with like a three D thing, but then it like zooms out and it's just like regular paper cut out Cartman. I think that, that is what the trailer was. I heard I heard in the commentary for the movie that the original trailer was cut like a fucking Adam Sandler movie and Matt and Trey hated it, and so they just made oh that made their own trailer, which was that uh, this summer or whatever the fuck they tried to make it look big. But like it was just yeah. like oh, I was just South Park. Yeah, uh, but are. yeah, all right. Let's talk about this. Movie. What do you What do you think about South Park? Bigger, longer, and uncut. I think it's a good, well put together movie. It is. It makes sense to make it basically about South Park in a way, while also yes. tying it into like a wider thing, and like having certain things in there that make it look bigger. And my uh, favorite aspect of this movie is that it's a musical. I, yeah, I fucking love the song. I don't think there's a song I hate in this movie. I love, I like them all. Yeah, I like. I think that all turned out very well, and it all ties into the story very well as well. What's your well, favorite well, song well. in the movie? My favorite song in the movie. You, I like all these songs that you listed, but right, yeah, uh, I've listed Kyle's mom's a bitch, Mountain Town, up there. I'm super and La Resistance. Those I are like, my favorites. Those are all good. I think I, I like the you didn't mention uh, the Brian Boitano one. And <laughs> right. So <laughs> I'll Boitano. throw that in. And I also mentioned the end credits song, which is like <laughs> sung by Michael McDonald, who's like a who's a usually a serious singer. But and like he did stuff before this and I think he did other songs for movies. So they, they decided to get him and be and they like, you know, what, sing this one. Sure. Didn't they get a guy from Metallica to do the "You're Going to Hell" song? Oh yeah, I think he, that, that that he's also involved with that as well. I don't <laughs> recall which person it is. There's a lot of good jokes go. in this movie. Yeah, and like, I, I, a lot of good songs. It's 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 hard to talk about if I just saying like all the funny. Oh, it's jokes. good. It's just a it's just a funny movie. Yeah, oh, you know, I even re- a, visually. 
mostly this is just South Park, but I did like the part where Cartman is fighting Saddam Hussein. That yeah, visually, like, I did like the visuals there. I do like the. I, I also like how Hell looks. Oh yeah, Hell, Hell, Hell is actually like it's not paper cutouts. It's just that they got like a three D background for it. Yeah, I what, also what, think. Oh, go ahead. There's another thing. I'm going all over the place. We're going all over the place. Well, yeah, we're, think... we're not following like the full. We're not going from the plot. We can just we can just jump around in this movie. Kenny is speaks briefly without his voice muffled, and I think if I recall correctly, it's Mike Judge talking. It is. Yeah. Oh, that's great. So it's like a little bit of like a tribute, like tip the hat, I suppose. Like, cause like right before South Park, the the big like crude like like show and like the other thing i'm not saying like too much but like the big crude show before south park was, was beavis yeah. and butthead that had all the the controversy before then as well so like in a way it also ties into like the overall like themes of the movie you know i suppose yeah i i like they, the uh all the stuff of cartman and the v chip that i yeah. I, 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 I like the keys uh it doesn't really work he still keeps cursing, but it's just he keeps, like, getting hurt really badly every time. Yeah. I guess you can't really stop him. But then he th- figures out how to, in the conclusion, he, got, he figures out how to turn into a superpower dude. Yeah, like, Mea, yeah, Mea, starts, basically. Like, it's because he, like, touches the, uh, the electric chair. He tries, he freeze turns to fill up, and, like, it, ha- it goes haywire on his V-chip. And so he, uh, starts using it to save the day by, by using foul language. I think it's pretty. It's there a pretty good way to end it. His uh, his filthy fucking mouth saved the day. Yeah, we are. <laughs> See, I'm just saying, being in this movie, he wasn't oh, even yeah. dead at the time of making it. Up, he's just oh, yeah. there in hell. He's got he's got, he's got the Canadian lip flap. <laughs> it's just a, a live action. He's dating face. Satan. And, he, and he's fucking Satan. Yeah. I love that part. I, I love the the whole thing of Satan. Just like. He's like the nicest guy in South Park, and it's Satan. Yeah, that is true. Like he's I, a... I like it. I like Satan in this movie. I like Satan. Yeah, there we are. Yeah, you gotta clarify, I suppose. Yeah, you guys, it's South Park. Satan is likable and sympathetic. Yeah, we. I. I don't suppose you are a Satan worshiper in no, regular no. life. No, I'm not. Well, oh, there are, you what are have your it. Jokes in this movie? Uh, I gotta think. Uh, I I I'm remembering a bunch of different bits. Like I do I do I do remember that they bombed the the Baldwin family oh. as a retaliation. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I'm not go gonna say Conan. fully. Oh, yeah, they go on Conan O'Brien. Terrence and Philip go on a Conan O'Brien. You like and that. like. And he, yeah, they Conan O'Brien. You laughed at our movie, and then like he <laughs> he's like conflicted about selling them out to the. Did they actually get Conan to voice himself there? No, Conan O'Brien does not voice himself in this movie. It is actually uh, Brett Spiner who played Data on Star Trek. Oh. But he has acknowledged it, and he like he's he talked about it in like a he mentioned it in a speech to Harvard, I think, if I recall correctly. So he's not like. He's not like offended that it happened, I suppose. Okay, that's good. And uh, oh yeah, George Clooney's also in this somewhere. He's like Bill, the doctor Bill Gates who is in works. This. Oh, Bill Gates. I I don't think that was actually Bill Gates, but that was actually George Clooney being the doctor in uh, the operating room on camera. Oh, uh, see, yeah, I could tell that the doctor was not Matt or Trey. So I was like, who, who is that? Who, 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 I recognize the voice. Yeah. I think it's partially because I think it's partially because he was the doctor on ER that show, but also he cause because like he was one of the very early like people who was like a big fan of South Park. Actually, he uh, he also plays a uh, Sparky the gay dog on <laughs> the show. If I recall correctly, they just get him. They get, get like a big like star and they just get him to just do like dog barking yeah i i hear they tried to do that with jerry seinfeld at one point but he's like no, i'm not just gonna do that no so he just didn't do it uh too bad for jerry seinfeld yeah. and like he was like he's gonna be like those turkeys right those turkeys that yeah. you also fight yeah. in the first person shooter game on it <laughs> yeah that, that first person shooter game 
Yeah, the early South Park games are quite something, but I guess they at least they have got good the, games now. They got good games now Take that actually that ain't like this. Yeah, it just straight up look like the show. Yeah, it's like, it's like you're literally playing the show. It's it's, it's yeah. funny. It's like it's the good era of the show, and they're like really uh, funny shit. Yeah. So. I mean, yeah, I'm, <laughs> it's I so hard say... to just talk about this because I I like pretty much everything. I don't know anything I dislike about this movie. Yeah, this isn't like a really flawed movie necessarily. Again, again I wonder who's gonna win now that I've said that. Yeah, we've. Like that last episode, it actually seemed hard. Uh, I'm like, I'm like, this is a. I have no problem with this movie, and I just spent mo- the majority of the Simpsons <laughs> tearing it down. Yeah. Well, maybe it's that's the bad. thing, though, because uh, this movie was made right before the golden age of South Park. They were getting into it, and even then, they were built. They were going off of like some pretty decent South Park stuff. Simpsons. Was well after the golden golden age. They made it. Yeah, too late. that is the thing. They made it like if they if they had made the Simpsons movie in like, oh, imagine if like they had made them around the same year. That would have been kind of perfect in a way. <laughs> it like did, both then, in nineteen ninety eight. I imagine it would have been a close shave, and also maybe the, the, the yeah the time would be more comparable. Now I'm just now I'm just getting sad about Phil Hartman all of a sudden because I think that was also around the time he he uh, oh, yeah. passed on, but like and he was like a big like great contributing factor in a way with Troy McClure and Lionel Hutz and a whole bunch of other stuff he did on that show. Okay, no no fucking way does the Simpsons movie have an eighty seven percent Rotten Tomatoes. How Are you, did you're it looking get that? this up? I just looked it up. That's eighty-seven percent. Eighty-seven percent. Well, what's, what's South, the South, what South Park, Park movie? Out? What is South Park? Eighty percent. This is this movie is not seven percent better than the South Park movie. What the fuck is this? I think it's in like an aggregate of overall how many positive reviews there are, but still, uh, yeah, the South Park movie. Should I wait to just outright say it until the ultimate conclusion? Or what? That it's better? I... Yeah. It's better. <laughs> that we're not we there yet. We made it clear. We're not hiding it from anybody. Yeah. The okay, Simpsons so there movie, you go. I it. found it is actually more tolerable this time around. But I love the South Park movie and have loved it for a while. And it's not changing anytime soon. It's, yeah. I, I've not gone through an arc of like, oh, you know, it's not so bad. Like, it is The Simpsons. I just always liked this movie. Yeah, I, yeah, it's pretty much the South Park movie. As long as I've seen it, like, I've usually seen it. I'm like, I have, I have bad insomnia, so I am, end up. Uh, and back when I had a TV, I, I watched a bunch of late night stuff, and like, Comedy Central used to do a thing where they showed like uncensored movies. Ah. And I thought like. I, I've seen this movie twice like that. Oh, just uncensored? Yeah. yeah I've, I, I, I've, oh, I've never seen a censored version. I've always heard it uncensored. No, it wasn't censored. But on t- that, that was the whole thing. Like, it was at midnight, so, like, kids should not oh, be that's watching. that's when they would but... show it. Yes. And then I was, like, and I was, like, like 12 or something still. <laughs> and I was, like, oh, wow, I'm watching South Park, the, the movie. <laughs> Like and I then think, I, I think South Park the movie is straight up one of the best like cartoon like movies based off a cartoon. Like yeah. straight up, love there like the SpongeBob movie for me. I think. Yeah, the SpongeBob movie is good. Uh, South those Park movie. Those are like my big two. It's the SpongeBob movie and South Park movie. I like those are. And I guess if you count a Goofy movie, but I never. Yeah. I never watched Goof Troop. A Goofy movie. I need to watch that in full because I see a bunch of parts of it i see everybody saying it so it's really good i i need to watch that movie in full i have yeah. seen the spongebob movie in full i goof goofy i remember goof troop slightly and goof troop the show is it's fine but it's not like it's not gonna like stand out for people besides like unless you like really like goofy and you you like the goofy movie i suppose and you wanted to see more of like goofy and max yeah. together i, I 
I, I just, guess. I just, it's just a goofy movie for me. I've got nothing about Goof Troop. I have no attachment to that. Yeah, so we're going all over. I think we're about done talking about the movies individually. Yeah, we made... not, it's like those are those are those are the Simpsons and South Park movie, and Simpsons is not not amazing. South Park is, and that is our answer. Yeah. Are there any other things of note? Anything of note? Anything of note? We already brought up like the other adult animated cartoons that got movies. Was there any anything we forgot to bring up? Oh, yeah, there's a Bob's Burgers movie. I've not right, seen it. Right, the Bob's Burgers. I never saw that. Family Guy hates Bob's Burgers. Yes. I don't know why. Did you ever see the I, Bob's I, Burgers movie? No, I did not see the Bob's Burgers movie. We're I think, the problem. Uh, We're why it didn't do so well. Oh, uh, dear. Uh, Brandon, I think, has seen the, the Bob's Burgers movie. He's been on he, uh, Galaxy Video quite a few did, times. What did he think of it? A friend of ours. He thought it was all right, but he also found some characters annoying. About right. I really, I don't think I've actually seen a lot of Bob's Burgers in general. I've not, I've not watched much of that show. I've seen a few of it. It's okay. Uh, have, have you seen, have you seen the Robot Chicken movie? There's a Robot Chicken movie. No, there isn't. Oh, you're just fucking with me. Have you seen the Brickleberry movie? Oh no! Shut up, the Brickleberry. <laughs> Uh, the Alan Gregory movie. Alan Gregory. <laughs> that lasted like five episodes, didn't it? I I want I'm... a fucking Family Guy movie already. I actually want a. Fa- I know it's like okay, it's it's been sucky for a while. It's been a bad show, but it at least deserves its movie. Everyone got their fucking movie. Yeah, it would be at least entertaining to see. Although it might just. What if they just literally do the plot of the Simpsons movie, <laughs> but with Family Guy, they... with Cole Hog. I bet they could do like what they did in the Simpsons movie and get some of their good writers back just for like this one this final could outing. Be. I don't remember like how many uh Seth MacFarlane, I don't think he's written like on Family Guy for a while, but I bet he would come back to write for this movie. Yeah. Oh now I remember speaking of Seth MacFarlane being involved with uh adult cartoon animated movies, this didn't go out in theaters either. Now I'm fucking remembering the drawn together movie. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> he's in that. He is? Yeah, he voices like a basically Jewish Ed 209 or something that oh. keeps going around. They all die oh, at the dear. end of that movie. Yeah, the whole drawn together cast dies. What what do you I'll just ask you real quick, what do you just think of like drawn together overall? Uh I did watch it when I was too young to be sh- should have watching it. And uh Oh yeah, same. It's like Maybe edgier than like South Park Family Guy shit. Like it's pretty offensive. It's very yeah. offensive. Uh, it's not that good. I don't think it's that good. I am mixed on it. I I somewhat like the the overall concept of it. Like it it could be a very good like mixing all the different animated style characters and like putting them in that setting and like sort of having a satirical part of it but it does kind of just devolve in like earlier on it's a little bit better while still being very edgy but like then it just kind of just does devolve into the edginess and then like the movie is just like a pinnacle of it just being edgy for edgy's sake although they like they get at they get at South Park in the movie and they seem like jealous of South Park but they also right, like Right, they got an entire character that's basically just South Park is the, the pig. Oh yeah, the 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 pig is like a flash cartoon character in the movie of Drawn Together. They have a whole character that's like from like Make a Point Land. So like basically they're saying like oh oh they you oh, got them drawn together. Like, you got them. Yeah, people only like the crude humor when it has a point, and I I, I guess so. <laughs> I, I don't. They I don't also know say I, like there's some good Family Guy jokes. It's just it's just actually, and they don't usually have a point. It's just actually just gotta be a good joke. John the Kelly yeah. doesn't have that many of that. Yeah, I'm mixed on drawn together. I how do we? I, I, I just why are we talking about drawn together? This is about the Simpsons guess, and South Park. I guess we gotta go over all of them. Uh, I don't think any other. I don't think there's a Duck Man movie. I don't think there's a why the critic you movie. Why was it Duck Man? Not Duff Man, Duck Man. 
You, you, you're saying the same words. Duck man. Oh, duck man! I thought you said duck man. Okay. That, yeah, why would he get a movie, movie by awesome. Yeah, there's a... Uh, and Homer appears in that show. So, I I can try and get back to I mean, yeah, normal. but basically, we've discussed this. This is that... This was you. You got what you wanted. We talked about these two movies, and telling you that the South Park movie we think is better. And uh, yeah, that's I the. I don't know many people conclusion. who disagree with that. Is that sentiment? But there could be people yeah, they, who really like the Simpsons movie more. Yeah, like uh, you don't get it. The Simpsons movie is an underappreciated masterpiece. It's the last, uh, the last great Simpsons media. Yeah, I don't know. There are some people who would, I guess, just like. They would get some people. I think would give The Simpsons the fault by because like some people are like it was really, really against Park. South Park. Yeah, but I I can get it. I can see it. It it, it'll, it offends everybody. It goes to I can see people like just ah oh, I do not forgive that show for that that thing they did. It's about right. But yeah, like, I, I get it, but like I also it's just great. I it's I I, I, I get why, but I also. Uh, I just do enjoy the show South Park. I yeah. I guess that's that's it's, what it is for me. Yeah. And I enjoyed the South Park movie better than the Simpsons movie. That is the ultimate conclusion. If you're here for that, there you go. Yeah. If, you, if, that, uh, if that was something you were really pondering, there's your answer. Yeah. So that's what you, the. What do you figure, Ducko? What are we gonna do next? What are we going to do next? Let's take a look. Let's decide right now. Let's go into the list and decide right here on the cast. I had a basic idea of one, but, like, I I didn't want to, like, spring it on you without it. Spring it on me. Oh, okay, fine. Uh, Empire Strikes Back from Star Wars and Star Trek II Wrath of Khan. I have never seen Star Trek II. I would be down... To watch it for the first time and compare it to Star Wars. All right. Let's do it. That's yeah. what's next, everybody. Star Wars: The Empire Strikes Back versus Star Trek II: The Wrath of Khan. I. There you go. I haven't. I really have not seen that much. Like I've only seen that 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 Star Wars movie once, really. So. Well, there you go. That's gonna be a very newcomer. Like you, I bet you've got more experience in these movies. You're gonna have a lot to say. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to give a fresh take. There you go. There you have it, folks. That's go, the. Folks. If we come back, that's what it'll be. Yeah, that's the end of the podcast for now. Uh, go look at our Patreon and this and that. Yep. And yep. have a good one. I hope you enjoyed this podcast. You can talk more in the comments, and we'll see you all later. You got anything else to say, Max? For the podcast, you can leave them in the comments. Oh yeah, there you go. So there we go. All right. So goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye, folks. See you around.